Hi, you all right? Just checking how everything is, everything looks. Let's get the camera sorted. There we go. Hi, Mooney. You all right? Welcome to the, welcome to the show, as it were. One time no see indeed. Just getting the camera all set and everything. I think everything looks all right. The uh, name bit at the top's a bit squashed. Might adjust that. I'm not sure if I care that much, but we'll see. Uh, there's supposed to be a chat box thing, like here, like there, but it doesn't really say anything. Oh, no, I think it is there. I think it's just really small. Yeah, it's just really small and takes a while. Okay. I didn't even spot the text at the uh, bottom part. I see it. Yeah, there we go. I can see all your text now. It's just really tiny, so I didn't see it first. But never mind. There it is. Cure. All right, well, let's get cracking then. First on up. Let me just check the audio levels and everything. Uh, I think it should be okay. I think I'm at full whack for... Video capture. Hang on. We'll wait and see the levels when it actually starts. 
Very funny. Right, so first up, who am I going to choose? There's no bald guy. That's a bit of a bummer. So which dipshit do I want? Do I want the girl or the boy? And do I want light skin or dark skin? What do you reckon, Mooney? You can choose which character. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which one? Give me a number. Four. You know what? I was actually thinking that one. Thinking the grey lass looks alright. Okay, MYT's a guy, so we'll call it MYT now. That's fine. Job's good done. Sorted. We do always think I like. Right. Everything's starting up. Here we go. Good time to check the audio levels, I think. Are the audio levels okay for the game and the voice and everything? I don't think the game's too high, so it should be okay. I don't need to be too low either. Bit more for the game. Is that alright? I don't really know, so I'm literally just relying on you because I have everything muted. Tad more. I mean, this is Pokemon, I don't really need the fucking audio, to be honest. Is that alright? Everything good now? Cool, thank you very much. Uh, okay, so I don't know if you're familiar with a Nuzlocke, so I'll quickly go over the rules. So basically the idea of a Nuzlocke is that when a Pokemon faints, they're dead forever. If a Pokemon faints, I will basically have to release it and say goodbye with it dead. I have to name all the Pokemon because the nickname gives like a, a bond between me and them. And I can only catch the first Pokemon in each room. Now normally with a Pokemon game it's completely random, whereas this one, you can see what Pokemon there are. Um, so I'm kind of just winging it. I mean, it is the first Pokemon from each room. So I'm going to pick and choose, basically. I'm going to go for just one Pokemon from that route that I see that appears. I'm not going to mess around for ages. Just for the right one to spawn. Just whatever I see first, one of those. However, there is a reward in the channel points which uh, channel points will be about here, here I reckon, on the bar, more or less. Uh, you can randomise it. So I put a channel point reward for random, which means I go into a random spot of grass, so I have absolutely zero idea what the Pokemon will be. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I've forgotten anything. You can look at the rules by just typing rules. And it will tell you. First pop in each room. Oh yeah, if it's duplicate, then of course I roll again, just so I don't have a you know like a million pigeons or something. Obviously, if I get something that I already have, I just roll again. And the battle style is set, so if the opponent has another Pokemon, I have to physically switch out. Just like if you're playing a multiplayer game. Which basically means I just have to take the hit. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, and there's Poké Bits as well. It's a bit reward where you can do stuff there. I, mean, I don't expect people to give bits, so there's only a couple. So basically for 100 bits, you can actually choose what Pokémon's on my team. So if there's one sat in the bag that you want on the team, you can opt to get it switched in by just chewing 100 bits. And if you're particularly cruel, for the high, high price of a thousand bits, you can murder one of my Pokemon. I made it a high price because 
I don't want people just killing my Pokemon for the sake of it, obviously. The main interesting stuff is in the channel points though, so mainly you just have to watch. Right, let's get cracking then. Murder's family friendly when it comes to Pokemon. You alright, love? Well, have to grab a hat. Oh yeah, look my stuff. I live in a bungalow, I forgot about that. Cool. Really don't like the bag. The bag in this just looks a bit meh. Whatever. I'm sure I'll remember the buttons when I play it. Yeah, can't be bothered. Right, whatever. Oh, there's an Eevee on there. Cool. I should really inspect a bit more, but there you go. Right, let's go. Which is this way. Okie dokie. So this is probably one of the better looking areas in the game. So if you see here, we've got your starting home. All the grass and everything, all the foliage. Uh, the game itself kind of is a bit up and down in terms of graphics. But for sure this starting area looks pretty good to be honest. It's been a long time since I've played this. Uh, when did the game come out? November? I think December was the last time I played Sword and Shield. <laughs> Those wool were really cute as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of first generation Pokemon to be honest. The game is pretty solid to be honest. It's. It's expensive for what it is, to be honest. This shouldn't have been a $60 game. And especially how the price of the... The price of the DLC is like $40, I think, or... I think it's $30, maybe? Don't quite remember. Hey! How you doing, Bambi? Good to see you again. How you doing? Yeah, I'm alright. I've been feeling a bit kind of up and down recently, but I'm not too bad. It's warm there. Cold here, I've got the uh, heater on. How you doing anyway, Bambi? I've not seen you about on stream recently. But I've only been popping into Twitch like now and then. Hey Jamie, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. I've literally just started with Pokemon. Doing a Nuzlocke. Yeah, it's a cool game. Um, I see replay it for the first time since like the end of last year. I wasn't paying attention, what did he want? Did he want me to do a thing? I don't remember. Did he go upstairs? I think he did. No. Nope. You alright Granny? I think he's probably gone to the stage, hasn't he? Anyway, yeah I'm doing a Nuzlocke on this, so it's a whole if a Pokemon faints it's dead kind of thing. I'll give you the general gist of it, I'm not going to do an explanation again. But that's the general idea. Not yet, I've got a idea. Ooh, I need to change my starter set before I actually get started. That's a fair point. <laughs> Good choice. So yeah, it's a Nuzlocke. I've done a bunch of Nuzlocke because this is like the first like live one I've done on uh, the whole Sword and Shield game, uh, especially live. So it will be interesting. <laughs> you swine, Moon. <laughs> Need to remember to go to the options menu. Yeah, I haven't been using Twitch that often. I pop on occasionally to kind of view some streams, but I've merely been coming on for when I'm streaming. And I've just been doing like short streams and stuff, but like a variety of things. Mainly because with this quarantine, I kind of want to do frequent streams, but because I'm with the wife, it kind of limits how often and how long I can stream. You love Charizard? <laughs> I hate Charizard. It's such a rubbish, overrated Pokemon. I really dislike it. Like Charmander, I like. Charmander I love. One of the 
it's probably the best of the actual starters from the first gen. When it evolves, Charmeleon's okay, but Charizard? I don't like. It goes from like being a cool, cute little dragon thing to like this stumpy, grumpy idiot. I don't know, I've never been fond. It's not the best in the franchise. I've never really been that fond of Charizard to be honest. Honestly, out of the original stars, I'm kind of a bit iffy with them. I probably like maybe the Squirtle line the best. Perhaps the Bulbasaur line, but I don't really get that invested with any of the three. In fact, I think, yeah, from the Gen 1 stars, I think Pikachu is probably the best star. Okay, starter time. I've already decided on what star I'm going to have. When I played the game originally, I chose Sobble, which is the water dude. And I think I'm going to go for the fire star this time. I kind of like Grookey as well, but I'm not that fussed about Grookey's final evolution. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for Skullbunny. But mainly so I can name after my uh, old pet rabbit. Which will I choose? Let me at it. Now all these cutscenes are over. Almost 20 minutes into the stream and I'm getting to choose my first Pokemon. It's been mostly cutscenes after that. Right. Hex speed fast, battle effects on, style set, uh, give nicknames, give, yada 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 yada. Show nicknames, show, skip movies. Yeah, we'll skip the long ones. To be fair, this game has skip movies, and it skips like, what, maybe two movies in the entire game? It's so ridiculous. Like, most of the standard stuff doesn't get skipped. It's really annoying. Anyway, let's go for it. Honestly, Booty, I forgot most of the names of the Gen 8 Pokemon. Like, before I started, I was thinking, Christ, what are the names of the stars? It took me ages to remember. Okay, oh, and it's a male. Excellent. Right, so my old rabbit was called Floppy. I'm calling it Floppy. Cool. Right, so while this cutscene is playing, I'm gonna add the Pokemon. Oops. Let's see if I can do this. Ta da! There we go. I know, darling. You know, when I was a bit iffy last night, it's because I was thinking about Floppy. Um, that's why I was starting to feel a bit iffy, because I was thinking about him again. So I was trying to remember the names of these Pokemon. And I was thinking, oh, I'll get the rabbit one and name him after the rabbit. And then I started thinking about poor old Floppy. Bless his cotton socks. We didn't have him for long, but he was a darling. <laughs> have you finished having a crap cat? Thank you very much. Sorry, my cat just had a big poop, so I'm going to close the door, frankly. Come on, cat, move it. Oh, that stinks. <sighs> yeah, she is very noisy. It's because whenever she uses the toilet, she scratches for ages. Probably trying to cover the horrible, horrible smell. You do the same thing, do you? <laughs> what, just cover your um, doings with uh, toilet paper or something? Try and cover the smell? Oh, 
Okay, that's enough of that chat, I think. Right, first battle. I really hope I don't die. This is the first battle, so if I lose my star, then the stream's over. I don't think I will, though. Although, interestingly, I say interesting, it's interesting for me. Uh, I kind of like the graphical style. I think it looks nice, like in this section, but then like in the wild area, I think it looks like garbage. But not necessarily the art style, just the graphical quality. So it's a bit up and down. But yeah, the interesting thing that I find about this game is, even though he picks a star that's weak to you, he's got two Pokemon, which is very interesting. I mean, his first Pokemon is only level 3, but still, you're fighting two. And I think that's a nice, not a twist, but, you know, a nice little difference there. <laughs> Bye, darling. Yeah, I agree, Jamie. I think the graphical style is much to be desired. As I say, in this first area, it doesn't look so bad. But in some of the other areas, it's not great. Like, even some of the areas that don't look so bad, the popping is dreadful. And they've not done any updates or anything like that. They're just working on charging you a fortune for DLC. But, there you go. Right, now I've got Ember, I should be able to take down Grookey fairly easily. He won't die. Yeah, I mean... Honestly, I kind of like the Let's Go system. The whole actually throwing a Pokeball. It kind of varied the game for me, and after playing, you know, the original game so many times, both in the original and, you know, Pokemon Yellow, and then Pokemon uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, we've had so many iterations of Gen 1 that it's kind of nice to see something that's a little bit different. My main issue with Let's Go was mainly just the actual content in the game. It was quite lacking, it didn't really have any extra stuff. Like the extra stuff were the master trainers and they were, you know, kind of booby. Well hey, I won. Awesome. First fight, won. That's a good start. I mean, it is a tutorial battle, but... I'm still happy. Progress. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, get Pokedex. Awesome. By the way, Jamie. Yeah, that's one thing it's missing. It's like a lot of puzzles. Like the gyms and stuff have like puzzles and mini games and stuff. But in terms of the actual game, it's kind of missing. Like, there's a couple of caves, but the caves, you just kind of walk from the start to the end, and that's it. And that's kind of disappointing. I wasn't even paying attention there. Whatever. That's true. Oops, I'm not paying attention. Right, there we go. I definitely recommend it, Mooney. If you can get, like, a physical version, especially for cheaper, I would recommend the game. It's still a lot of fun, I mean... If you like Pokemon, you like Pokemon, but uh, it's not as good as many of the other games. Uh, what is it, Jeff? Content? Oh, bad word. That's true. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to keep it in my mind. Probably should avoid the grass. Did it heal me? I'm not sure if we did. Yeah, I've got full health. Cool. Right, this doesn't count anyway. When it comes to the actual Nuzlocke parts with catching the Pokemon, it only counts when you've got balls. And I don't have any balls yet. And I, I know I said the P word again.
I don't think I have any balls anyway. Nope, it's official. I have zero balls. Anyway, yeah. If you actually look as well in the channel points down below, you'll see some different things as well. So there's a name rare one which is pretty cheap, so you can name a Pokemon if you so wish. You can get me to choose a completely random Pokemon, you can get me to do a mystery trade, you can mess up my team, and yeah, those are the Pokemon ones. So I've got four different bit, four different channel point rewards. And I've got a couple of bit rewards as well if you're feeling particularly vindictive. You're right, mate. Heal me up. I'm not going to level up too much because I don't want to be over leveled for when I catch my first Pokemon. Oh! This is hard, Mooney. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what. Um, because this is the first time I'm actually using the band word thing, I think what I'll do is if I use the word three times, then you automatically get a refund of points. So if I say, I mean, I probably said it more than three times at the moment, but if I say it one more time, I'll give you a refund. Yes, he did ban a word. So the word that he's typed in chat. I cannot say in chat. It's the first time anybody's actually used that word, and I actually thought it was going to be easy, but seemingly not. This little dude annoys me, Squabber. It annoys me because I really like it, but I also don't like what it evolves into, and that's what annoys me. surprisingly difficult. When I did that channel point reward, I thought, it's going to be quite simple. And then the first time it ever gets used, and I'm already struggling. Right. Come on. This is still tutorial stuff, by the way. I've not got my balls yet, so... This is still tutorial. Okay, I think this is the end of the tutorial a bit. Uh, I think you get given balls. From what I remember. There's like a this tutorial bit where you've got to fight this dude. With the plats. When I catch this dude, I'll have to call it Gale or something. I'll have to Gale Platt. But this fight is just a waste of time because you can't do any damage to it, so it's literally just waiting. It's just a waiting game. This one is Sword. Look, Sword. Not Shield. I think in the thing it says, yeah, it says... Mm -hmm. Sword shield, I think, of the game. I can't quite see. I'm sure it does. Right, let's just wait for it to get foggier and foggier. I'm sure the developers were loving themselves when they came up with this fight. They were thinking, people are going to love this, they're going to think this is so epic. But really, it's just a boring button mashing affair. It's effectively a really lengthy cutscene where nothing happens. Except it starts with a cutscene and ends with a cutscene. Yeah, half an hour in, and I've literally done nothing apart from get my starter and fight the dude. I'm still effectively outside my house. The tutorial in this game is lengthy, to say the least. Heh. 
Nice trick, Jeff, but I'm more likely just to say sword or shield. But it was a nice try. Right, from what I remember, I think we just have to get to where this grass area is. And he'll give me some balls. So we can catch our first friend. Alright, I'll go speak to my mother. Jesus Christ, mate. We're literally leaving our house to go around the country when we're a child. And he wants me just to say bye to my mother. I think if my mother's letting me do that, she really doesn't give a fuck. There he is. You use the Pokemon Pokeballs to catch the uh, the creatures you find in the wild. Obviously. Or as I like to call them, friends. New friends. Unless it's a shit one. Then he'll probably just get dumped in a box. If I get a Charmander or something, he'll probably just go in the box. Oh, I don't think I have balls yet. Did I get balls? Did someone give me balls? Yeah, I did. No one told me I had balls, but there you go. I keep saying balls. Yeah, look at this. Options menu, buy the expansion pass. It's not a mobile game. Okay, well, he's the closest one to me, so we'll just go for him. Or her. Unnerved. Mm, bit of a rubbish ability, but there you go. Well, it's a her. Okay. So let's catch this lady. You know what, I mean, it's a root one hook, so I could probably just throw a ball in. Oh, I forgot there's a quick one. Okay, if anyone wants to redeem, name the uh, dude, now is the time to do it. If not, I'm coming up with a name. Hi there, Pokey friend. May your new life be full of victory and the spoils of Pokey War. Right. KFC. <laughs> Okie dokie. Finger licking good. Okay, so we've got some delicious KFC. Uh, let me just swap to the front of the pie for now. And do this. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any kind of fast way of doing this. It's literally just finding a picture and sticking it in. Where did I put this? Oh, no, I need to find where I put this folder. I don't remember. Here we go. So what's his name? Rookity. Make it a little bit bigger. Whack it down here. Boom. Sorted. Dun -dun -dun. Professional. I wish there was like some kind of tool or something in Streamlabs which would do it a bit easier. But as far as I can gather online, that's literally how you do it. You just input an image. Okay, KFC! Right, so this one is level 5. Let's... Let's leer it. I need to be careful so it doesn't die. Please don't die. Okay, defense has fallen. Oh. 
Right, I was going to use Ember, so that probably wasn't the best idea anyway. Don't matter, we'll use Tackle on it. Although burning it's probably useful. We'll see what this does. Lower defense should be relatively solid. Okay. He's a bulky son of a gun. Very bulky. Uh, how much damage did that do? Did anyone pay attention to how much damage that did? Can I take another hit? Did it do more than 4 damage? I'm not entirely sure. It did 2 million damage, thanks Moody. Okay, I'm going to switch into KFC. I mean I could just run. Eleven. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy. I think we'll have to use a potion at this stage of the game. But let's heal up. I can use healing items, but I'd rather not waste them. Because usually I don't bother to buy healing items. So I know I'll just forget about them and then need them. Ooh, that's a power trip. Twenty. Thirty-five. Oh she's peck. I should do alright, maybe. He's a bulky little bugger, this one. There we go. Hey! Got two level ups from it. Nice one. I wasn't expecting that to be so much of an issue. Ooh. Let's fight a Wooloo. With its cute little face. Let's smash its face in. We won't bother with that, we'll just... And Prill on health her. We'll lose a pretty bulky. On a dark move. Eh. Well, let's leer it. Let's just see how this goes. I don't want to switch in because my health is still really... Oh God. Still really low. Okay, let's just switch in. Let's risk it for a biscuit. I don't think it's going to do more than 7 damage to me. I don't think. Oh! Shrekt. Absolutely Shrekt. Well, you can use Defense Curl all you like, mate. I'm burning you down to the ground. Solid. Well, hey! Okay, cool. Right, I'm not going to get into any more battles. I think that's enough for now. Uh, in here, I think. Yeah. But yeah, the funny thing is... Whatever. No, another cutscene.
I was going to say, the funny thing about this game is they say, oh, there's no HMs or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about all that malarkey. But then you've got, like, really annoying stuff, like, you've got a crowd of people blocking the street. And it's like, okay, I can't pass because there's four people in the middle of this street. Because you can't walk around them, apparently. That's so much better than just having a tree to cut. <laughs> Yamba. Yamba's kind of cool. I never used it when I played the game uh, for the first time. I caught one. But I don't think I ever used it because I caught it like later on in the game and I already had a team. So I just kind of left it in the box. So I've never used Yamper or... What's his name? Is it Bolthound or something? Or Bolton? Revolution? He was pretty cool. But I say I never used him. He just looked cool. Yay, hey, Pokedex! And we can go to Route 2. Another new Pokemon! Okay, let's go. Hey trainer, sorry to stop you. Here's the potion, mate. Thanks. I mean, I had like five random at the start, so one more's not really going to make that much difference, but there you go. Now I have to learn what a Pokemon Center is. Uh, the film on the game, really. Never played the game, although apparently that's getting released at some point. I think they're doing a Switch version of it. The Poker Center. Yeah, give me a tutorial on the Poker Center. I know what the Poker Center is, thank you very much. Well, at least I can heal up. Yeah, whatever. Heal my friends. Yeah. Boom. Let's go. I'm excited to get a new pokey friend. What's this way? Glove shop. Okay. Yeah, let's get some new. Get some new rags. Ideally, a new bag or something. Okay, I don't like that style of bag, so I'll just do it. No. Eh. Eh. I don't like any of these, to be honest. Right, stop it. Might as well waste of time. Get better clothes. There we go. Boom. It does, I mean, it's got more customization than Let's Go. Uh, in all the different towns, I've got different clothes, so there's quite a variety. It's just that the first shop is a bit. Meh. Like, I don't give a crap about any of them. Ooh, shiny rock! A revive! Well, I can't use a revive. But, thanks anyway. Well, hey! Cool! I'll just grab your balls, Leon. And be on my way. It's funny, because they always say, you know, in this game, you can skip the tutorial for ball catching. I mean, that's true. But you still have to go through, like, two minutes worth of text boxes, even when there's no tutorial. Right, so we've caught that one, so we'll go for the next one, which is that route. 
Chidora. So yeah, if anyone wants to name this, spend your points soon. I say soon because maybe I don't catch it. Uh, we'll give it a peck. I mean, it's Route 2, so I don't think I'll need to do that much damage to it. Okay, I'm doing okay. Right. Get it down to yellow and that should be enough. Yeah, it should be okay. Get your names in now. Hopefully. Wait, wait, wait. My next new friend. Ooh, level up as well. Right, let me get the pictures sorted, and if anyone wants to do the name in the meantime, feel free. It's a female. I call it one of the Ninja Turtles, but it's a female. And I suppose it matters that much. There he is. Boom. Making my tag bigger. Be a little bit bigger than that. That'll do. Ish. Eh. More or less. Right. Let's give our friend a name. Mm. Uh, Donna? Yeah, Donatello is one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it's a woman, so Donna. Donatella, maybe? Donatella Rockefeller? I love it. Donatella, that's good enough. Okay, welcome to the party, Donatella. She's at half health, so I'm going to have to go all the way back to the Poke Centre and heal her. To the Poke Centre, even. Can I go in the house? I can go in the house. Donatella. Too late now. What do you want? No, no, no. Well, thanks for that. That was pointless. They didn't give me anything. Hopefully as well, because this is Route 2, there should be some trainers. Let's have a quick look at Donna, shall we? What's she got going for her? She's got load special attack, that's not bad. Because attack's the best one anyway. Have special defense, which will be good. Shell armor, protects them from crit critical hits. Alright. Not bad indeed. He does have a big horn. Donna's feeling a little horny. Or a big horny. Uh, did I put her up front? No, I didn't. Right, so I'll put Donna up front and we'll get Donna up a couple of levels. I like Tootle. And the thing it evolves into, which I've forgotten the name of, that's pretty cool. Drennor, I think it is. Drennor seems to ring a bell. There we go. This kid's playing with his balls, so he probably wants to fight.
Come on, youngster Jake, I'm gonna ruin your day. Oh, this bulky son of a gun. Mm, not much I can do with this. Let's just give it a little hit. See, I'll summon a fair amount of damage. Uh, let's go to Floppy for now. We'll burn him. I want to ruin a lot of people's days, especially kids. Let's ruin these kids' days. I'm not teaching anymore, so instead I'll teach these kids a lesson. They should learn that they'll never be anything in life. Well, hey, crit. Sorted. Way! Didn't level up. But still good enough. It's a win. What's in here? Potions. Cool. Mm, I think we're still in route 2. Just want to check before I mess up. Route 2 goes all the way around here. Just checking, because this is a new Pokemon. Nickit. Nickit's cool. I like Nickit. I don't like what it evolves into, but I like Nickit at least. Well, I know it's not going to get a crit, so that's good. Mm, not enough damage for me to be secure in it. Let's go back to Floppy. Floppy's only like level 9. Let's get Floppy with it. Yeah, I can catch this one. I mean, I can battle it, but I can catch it. So I can only catch the Pokemon in the next route, which is... I don't know, probably Route 3. I call them from Route 1 and Route 2. But not Route 3. The Wild Area will be a bit different. And I'll explain that when I get to it. I'm not sure if I can see it just yet. Probably not, but we'll see. Might as well use that, I've got 21 left. Little bugger. But yeah, the wild area is actually like one big area made up of smaller areas. And each of the small areas are designated. So like you've got a big open area which might have multiple routes in it. So this is kind of like that. Like for example here, you've got Route 1 and Route 2 and stuff like that. And then once we get to the wild area, all these little squares here are different. So that's, that's Rolling Fields, Dappled Grove, Westlake, Axwell and all that one. So all these are different areas of the maps, which you can see on that cutted line. So I would count those as different routes, basically. Because they are different areas. And the Pokemon will have like a different area stamp on them. So I'm counting them. So yeah, if you look on this one, for example. Uh, where is it? Do -do -do. We met one another on Route 2. And that's what I'll say for the wild area ones, so I can do that. Three pop -ups. Do you just want me to press it? Yeah, it Okay. Fair enough. Oh, another data ruin. What have you got for us, lass? Oh, she is a lass. That was purely incidental. I didn't realise that would be her trainer class. Tutor versus tutor. Well, I know it's a tackle and water gun, so it's probably best not to bring a flop in. But KFC would be a good bet. It's pretty defensive. Huh? 
Thanks for showing me my stats. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll chip something away before I switch over. Just because it's probably best not to switch into a fire Pokemon. Okay, how much damage are you going to do to me? Not a lot, I imagine. I'm doing a fair amount, surprisingly. Mm. Let's do one more hit. Yeah, that's a reasonable amount of damage. I'm satisfied with that. Right, now I'm going to get the hell out of here. Let's go to KFC. I don't know, probably would be fast enough to attack with, with Floppy. And I'd probably be able to kill it. But I'm also not sure. So I'm not gonna. Ooh, home claws, that's good. I don't think I need it, I think I should be able to take it out. I should. There we go. So. And everyone levels up. Everyone gets a prize. Cool. Fight's a nice move for uh, Donna. Donatella. He couldn't beat Hop, well he hasn't. He doesn't stand a chance if he couldn't beat Hop. You level up too, don't you? Of course you do. Everyone levels up. Oh, assisted. I like that bug. Hopefully I can catch one of those, but we'll see. Right, let's... Yeah, let's go to... Floppy. Floppy's only slightly out ahead, so... I kind of want him to get up a little bit. Why did flip all? Ooh, my special attack went down. Just a wee enough. Damn it. Never mind. He does one damage to me, so I'm not that bothered. Let's just tackle it to finish it off. It'll be reaped. Cool. No more level up, so sad. Try and burn this fella. Quick attack. Okay, two damage. No, oh, crit. No burn though. No. Hopefully that should give me the advantage I need though. Take him out. Will it work? No. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, I've got Quick Attack as well, so I should be faster, I imagine. Was that not? Yeah. Awesome. Surprisingly close encounters, but... I still did it. No deaths. Yet. Uh, no, you got it so wild. I didn't even notice my guess. My name is Magnolia. Let's go inside. I've already got a Pokedex, what are you going to do for me? Nothing, I imagine. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, perfect. Okie dokie. What are you doing, Hop? Look at him! What's he playing at? <laughs> He's milking a cow. He's milking two cows. Oh, he's doing something. Uh, where's the dog?
I have to battle him again. What's his first one? Is the foot his first one's gonna be the sheep in it? I imagine, so let's put flops first. There we go. I imagine he's gonna start with that. Oh, you need to do the groceries? Ah, fair enough, Jamie. Well, good luck, Jamie. Hopefully you stay clean and everything. Come on. Let's burn the wheel. My, it seems to be weak to special attacks before. So I think my ember should rip straight through him. There we go. 40% damage, not too bad. That's cute though. Have you seen its tackle? When it does like a little rolling ball thing? That's cute. I like that. And let's just put it back. Hopefully that's enough. Cool. I probably didn't need to play safe, but whatever. Level up. Okay, Grookey. Again, I've got an advantage against it, so I can burn this thing. Burn it to the ground. Get some KFC. Eat some KFC. Well, if mine dies, I'll send it to you. And you can eat that. Branch pork. Hey, he gets a special move. I've just got Ember. I want a special move. Sad. There we go. Cool. KFC's leveled up again now. Has he got one more? Oh yeah, it'll be a close one, so I'll bounce it. Alright, he's got a third as well. I mean... Let's just growl it and then I'll switch. Should I switch to KFC? Or should I switch to Donna? Hmm. Well, KFC will become... Steel Flying, which is a pretty good. And that'll be weak. Oh, that'll be strong against Grass and Bug. Same as Storm Bunny. Also against like Rock and stuff. Got a lot of shared stuff. I think I'm at best off switching to Donna. Uh, yeah, they do it. I'm pretty sure they eat them. I'm sure, like in the anime, they've been eaten before. 25, 35. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has happened in the anime. But they mentioned about it. Or, oh, like in a Pokedex entry or something, I'm sure it's mentioned. It's been definitely somewhere that that's a thing, that people eat Pokemon. I mean, these two here, I won't eat either of them. Neither of those look particularly delicious. Like Grookey, maybe? People eat uh, these chaps. People eat these delicious mortals. After seeing this match, I have no choice but to give you both endorsements. Yeah. I kicked his ass. I absolutely destroyed him. Clearly he's just giving him the endorsement because he's his brother. Not because he's a good battle. Yeah, that wasn't a good battle at all. I wrecked him. 
He doesn't deserve that endorsement. Seems these are cutscenes apparently. So when I chose cutscene skip, none of this gets skipped. Of course not. Because this is all essential parts of the game. Hey, oh. class. Again, essential viewing. That wasn't worth it, wasn't it? Hey! I'm going through the VN portion of the game. I don't know what VN portion is, but hey, quite anyway, how are you doing? The visual novel, yeah. I've got cutscene skip on. As I mentioned before, I believe it cut it cuts out like maybe two movies in the entire game. And you can only put it on when the game starts. So like the biggest movie, like right at the start, you can't skip. And stuff like this. Why does this not get skipped? It warns you that you've been missing out vital stuff, but really? It cuts out nothing. And this is essential tutorial stuff, isn't it? Telling me how to whistle. Oh, we'll skip the Pokeball tutorial, but we'll tell you how to fucking whistle. That's well worth it. Yeah, it's a bit annoying the tutorial sections, but it's annoying. All Pokemon, all Poke games. No. Oh. I didn't realise there were wild yamper here. I don't think I noticed them on my first playthrough. Ah, oh, I mean, let's kill it. I can't catch it. It was just nice to see one. With his little heart on his ass. Her ass. Her ass. She's got a nice little heart on her ass. I mean, you don't know any of them because they're new. That'll be why. As far as I can see, these initial portions don't actually have any... any classic Pokemon. I don't think you get any of those till you get to the wild area, from what I remember. It's been a long time. About four months. But I've completely forgotten. Thankfully, I think the training wheels are going to come off soon. And I can actually be left to my own doings. Thank Christ for that. What the heck is that? Right, bugger off. Uh, where am I going? I think I'm going back to the train station, am I? I don't remember. He told me to do a... Oh, there we go. I thought so. I was just thinking I wasn't paying attention to any of this garbage. But luckily the game doesn't let you forget where you're going. Nice hero. I've got Paraloid. Paraloid? Paralyzed, which is a bit annoying. Might actually get some like antidotes and paralyzed heals and stuff. Just so I don't have to come back to the... Uh, Poke Center so often. Here we go. Right, what can I buy? Let's get no, more Ice Potions. Get a few antidotes. Uh, more like Burn Heal and Ice Heal, I think, and Awakening. Power Ice Heal, we'll get a few of those. Uh, can I get Revives? I could sell my Revives, I suppose. One of those Revives. There we go. Can't use any of these, so might as well get a grand for it.
What's quite interesting is that it seems like uh, the Poké universe is like seeing into the future. Like once all this quarantine stuff and all the coronavirus stuff is over, this is what the economy is going to be like. You're going to go into the pharmacist and it's going to cost you like a grand for medicine. You're going to be buying curries for, you know, 500 euros. The economy is just going to be fucked. It's going to be like the Pokemon universe. Promo. Camping gear. That's something I'm never going to do, but thanks anyway. Right, we're off. Now please can I do a thing? That'd be soft paper medicine. Yeah, healthcare is free here. Because you go to the poke centres and they heal you for free. But if you want to buy potions, they charge you. Which is exactly the same here. You've got free healthcare, but then if you go to the pharmacist, you have to pay for your medicine. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, what? Okay, now I could get a Pokemon here. Right, so these are the gift Pokemon. Now I don't know whether gift Pokemon are going to count or not. I haven't decided if I should allow gift Pokemon to be counted. I can rename those later, so it's not a big deal. For the moment, I'm just going to stick them in the box. Which I can't do yet. Piss. That's annoying. Right, I'm going to have to go back. Can I go back? Yeah. Let's stick them in the poker box. I'm not sure whether I should allow them or not. This Pikachu... The Trains the Isle of Armour. What? The DLC is not available yet, is it? What? This is new. What? This is new content. Oh, this is a battle. And this is in a town, so it's not on a route, so this will count. The Pikachu and Meowth? They're not going to count. Or I haven't decided. But this? Potentially. Well, no, this will, sorry. The others, potentially. Right. This is weird, this is new content. This has took me by surprise. You little fecker. Cool! Right, so Quiet, or anybody in chat, if you want to name this female Slowpoke, which... just did a fire attack, I think, what? Then feel free to use your channel points. I have never encountered this before. This has happened... Yeah, this is something that's appeared in the game afterwards. Oh. Right, so Quiet, if you go to... Sorry, I'm just a bit confused because this is completely new to me. If you go to the Saturn rings below the channel points, you can see a list of rewards. The one called Name Rater, uh, that allows you to name a Pokemon, so if you want to name this Slowpoke, feel free to do so. I don't think this will kill it. Bear in mind that you might want to wait to see if I catch it first. Uh, 
Uh... Okay, please don't die. That's it. Nothing that should kill me. Okay, cool. Let's switch back to Floppy. This is intense. This is a high level Pokemon as well, so. Hey. So I'm actually kind of worried about losing people. My Pokemon may actually die. Damn, Rock Free. That did a chunk of damage, did that? Come on. Get in my balls, Slowpoke! Get in my balls! Please! 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 Hey! There we go. So yeah, quite. if you want to name this Slowpoke, feel free to do so. Double kick, thanks. Crikey. Right, what am I going to get rid of? Uh... Special attack's kind of rubbish, so we'll get rid of... No, we're not going to get rid of... We'll get rid of Growl. Right, so quite if you want to name it, you have until I find the image for Slowpoke to add to my team. Christ! That battle was intense. Like, surprisingly intense. Okay, I'm going to have to change this afterwards because this is a normal Slowpoke. And what I want is the Gara one, but I'll change that in between streams. But now, this one will do. Yeah, I was sweating as well. I honestly thought I was going to have people die there, but thankfully, I did not. Okay, quiet, you got a name? Actually, I'm gonna, I can rename it afterwards. I wanna put the other things in the box. So yeah, quiet, if you've got a name, then whack it in the chat and I'll rename it. I need to rename it anyway. Whew. No, it's fine, I say I've not named it yet, so stick some in. I could name it Quiet if you want. I could name it For it, but that would be a little bit weird. Because For it's an actual Pokemon. But I could name it Quiet, that'd be a cool name for Slowpuck. Uh, where's the Pokemon Center? There it is. The Poke Center. It is pretty amusing. And there isn't a For it in the game, so I can call it For it if you like. I just need to deposit the Meowth and Pikachu because those were gifts that I've not decided on yet. And we can rename our Slow Poker. Right, ready, right, okay. So, this is a cool thing you can do, Mune. You can just go to any Poker Center and rename the Poker Fella. Okay, so what do you want me to call it? For it or quiet? I'm interested in seeing what this slowpoke's all about. I've not actually seen a Galar slowpoke before. 
So this is very interesting. And it changes things up because I, well, if it's a water type, then Donatella's not really going to be that important. So which one is it, Quiet? Do you want me to call it for it or Quiet? <sighs> I think I need a drink after that. Okay, well, unless you change your mind, I'm going to call it for it. And that'll be my name for it anyway, so if you want me to change it, I will happily change it, but until then, it's going to be called for it. Okay, I need to heal up. Let's check for it out first. The interesting thing is, for it is my favourite Pokemon, so... Oh, rubbish special attack. Oh, it's got a high attack. Dang. Ability Gluttony, which is a bit crap. Uh, acid and Confusion of both special attacks on the physical Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, hmm. Maybe this Slowpoke isn't going to be the best team member. But either way, one thing it is, is you. Boom. Awesome. Whew. Right, let's go back to the wild areas, shall we? sit down. Thank you very much. We have a little bit of tutorial stuff at the start of the wild area I think. Yeah. Speak to your man. So this is a wild area. It looks a bit iffy, it looks a bit bland. Like there used to be jokes about the trees looking like something from Ocarina of Time and they kind of do. In this kind of weather, like in the cutscene, it doesn't look so bad. Like at the moment, it looks fine. But once you get into it, and especially when the weather changes, it, it doesn't look the best. And honestly, the wild area is really boring. Apart from like patches of grass and wandering pokey uh, dudes. You know, there's not really a lot in this area. You get some hidden items, but there's not really anywhere to explore. It's kind of boring. And they made like a massive deal about the wild area, but honestly, those red beams of light are where you do the dens, and those are the like best part. Aside from that, the rest of it's kind of crap. Anyway. Going into the wild area, I'm not going to catch a wild Pokemon. I'm gonna a wild Poke fella. I'm gonna save there. I have four people in my team. I've got Floppy, Donatella, KFC, and Furret. So stay tuned next time, which will be Friday. I think the next Pokemon stream is, and I will join you then. I might actually change the system around and do an extra pokey stream throughout the week and have three because I rather enjoy that and I want to do more. So I may alter the schedule slightly, but if not, I will be back on Friday for more pokey action. Thank you very much for joining. Let's go and find somebody to raid. Who is about? 
Uh, no, you can't ban the same word again. If you want to ban something, you need to ban a different word. And I'm just saying that because, well, I'm saying that because your word this time was a pain in the ass. So thank you very much for banning. No, you can ban the same word again if you want. I'd rather you didn't because that was tough to do, but there you go. Uh, okay, we're going to raid Pinker, so say hi to Pinker for me. And enjoy the free channel points, which you can use next time for more stuff. Bye everyone, let's go Pinkachu!